Okay, and here we are again. Now, what we're going to do, we already recoded our variables and we created a new variable. And I'm just going to scroll through the list of variables because it's going to show up all the way at the end. And we're calling it wrap2. So you want to double click on it because you need to indicate the values. And if you recall, or actually if you look in your book, if the value was one, the label is going to be that they like rap music. And then just click add. And for value number two, it would be that they dislike rap music. Sorry. Click this. this dislike music. Ooh, okay. I cannot spell today. Dislike rap music. See? My little mistakes don't they make these videos just come alive. Dislike rap music. Okay, we're going to add that. And the last thing we're going to do is the last value will be 8. If you put eight, it just means it's missing. And you have to label this so that when you run your cross tabs or frequencies, whatever data graph, that it comes up with the labels already there. So we'll add that. And that's all there is to it for adding some information about your variables, your variable value label. And we'll click OK. So now if I run a quick little cross tab, with, uh, let's say, um, we're going to say age category four. I'm sorry, we're going to say wrap by age category. Yeah, we'll do age category four. And we're not going to control for anything. And we're just going to go ahead and run that. That way you can see how it shows up with the values in there now. So that is all there is to it. And you'll see that they either like rap music or just like rap music or it was missing. And of course, this was a quick and easy little um, show uh, video here. I didn't put in their percentages and so on and so forth, but I really wanted you to understand how to do the value uh, variable values. So good luck. Have a great day, and I may have to rewind this video to catch that part about uh, giving your variables their proper values, but it's real easy. You'll see. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.